Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will be showing you how to automate different command line processes in Windows 10. Let's get started. So quickly before I show you how you can create all these different automations, I just want to tell you what I mean when I say automations. So what I mean when I say automation is, for example, let's say you're creating some kind of project in some kind of language, maybe you're using Python or OJS or whatever, and, and you have to run a bunch of different commands to create the project. While using these types of automations, you can actually you know, run all these commands automatically for you without having you do write all of them. Let's say you have command one, let's just pretend this is a thing, command, command two, and command three. Instead of trying to run all of these commands, you can just have one command that runs everything. So one, one command would run command one, command two, and command three. So now that we understand what types of automations I mean, let's get started. So first of all, you want to open up your command prompt or terminal or whatever you're using and go to the root of your drive, go to users, and then your username. This is your user directory. This is where you want to be. You could put this anywhere you want, but I recommend putting it in your user directory since this has basically no chance of being deleted. So next you want to make dir, mkdir, and then type bin. I already have a directory called bin, but once you do that, you want to go into the bin directory. Inside of here, you want to put all the types of commands that you want. For example, you could open this in VS Code or maybe in Sublime Text and add all of your commands. Uh, I'm going to open this up in Sublime Text real quick, so I'm going to open up Sublime Text. I'm going to now open the so I am now going to open up the bin directory. So click this, go here, and I'm going to find bin. It's right here. I'm now going to click on select folder, and we are now inside of the bin directory. So you see, I already have two commands. I have activate.bat and zsh.bat. But if you want to create a new command, well, you're going to click new file save it and save it with the name that you want and then dump bat so i'm going to create a command that creates a, a new python project so i'm going to call this create pi.bat so now we can write the command now if you don't want all of, like the commands outputting or anything like for example if you don't want it showing up as executing the command use at echo off. That will just disable showing all the commands. It will show the output from the commands, but it won't show the execution from the commands. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to use the echo command to echo creating directory. If it doesn't already exist. So this is just, you know, basic bat stuff, make a dir, and I can use the percent time one to access the first argument, cd, percent sign one, and now echo creating virtual environment, dot, 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 dot. Uh, virtual env env hyphen hyphen verbose. You know, just creating a virtual environment, and then echo creating main file dot. dot. I can now echo print hello world. main.py echo success success fully created 
Python project. So that I have now written my own animation to create a Python project. Now I can test it out by opening up the command prompt and just typing in create pi because that is what I named the file. I don't need to add .bat, that's just optional, and type in test. Create directory if it does not already exist. Create a virtual environment. Create a main file and successfully create a Python project. Let's take a look and see if it worked. Oh, okay. So now we have a main.py and a vnv.py. And if I check the main.py, we have hello world. So now we have written the automation. However, we can't access it from anywhere else in the system. For example, if I get out of the bin folder and if I try typing in create pi, it won't work. It wouldn't work. So what we have to do is add it to our environment variables. To do that, click on open the start menu and then begin typing in env. You should see edit environment variables for your account. Then click open. Next, you want to find the path and click edit. Inside of here, you want to add your bin directory. In my case, it's the user directory, then backslash bin. So you want to add that to the bottom, then you want to click on OK, OK, and then restart any command prompt or PowerShell instance that you have open. Once, you do, once you've done that, you should just be able to access all your commands in, everywhere, anywhere. So any kind of command that you put inside the bin directory, you'll be able to access for the rest of the system. So that has been how to create different automations in Windows 10. I hope you learned something from this video, and if you did, leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this one. That's it for me today. Goodbye.